We are back together with the whole engine bay. So it's time to do our favorite stuff. Prime the fuel system and use Forescan. So I'm going to go to Forescan, open it up. Then we're going to go down here. And I'm also screen recording this so we can actually see it. We're going to check for Bluetooth devices. We found it. Ask if it's being fitted with factory navigation. It sure looks like it. We're going to say equipped. It's going to go through its thing and find all the modules. We're just going to have to sit here and wait for it to go through all the modules. Because once it gets done with the HS can, it will go to MS can. It will it'll ask to go to MS can. Hopefully this thing will pull everything up. Whole bunch of DTCs. Whoa! And I'm going to guess all of those are injector IQA codes. Except for that 93, that's a large fuel leak, which we resolved by replacing the return line because it was broken. Switch the switch over to medium speed can. Hit OK. Now it's going to go through and find everything on the medium speed can. Oh, it looks like we got a bunch of HVAC codes. That could probably be that clicking in the dash. And probably why this thing doesn't get cold real quick. But we're going to go to... We're going to go to the wrench. And we're going to do... Change fuel, injected cor fuel injector correction factors. Hit the play button. Yeah, we know this. And you switch it back to HS. Switched. All right. Here's all of our injectors. I have to find number seven so he can take it back because apparently it was leaking, but it really wasn't when it came down to it. It was just... It was just a leaky return line, so I don't know what he's going to do about that. I do know I fixed everything that I could find, and hopefully he's happy with it. So, let's move on to putting IQA codes in. Number one is going to be... Frank four two Charlie one seven six zero two eight. Number two is going to be one zero five zero Charlie two David zero. Three, zero. Number three is going to be Echo three six David two two five zero two eight. Just so you know, there's no O's in this. It's always zeros and ones, and there's no I's. Just because. Uh, Because they'd be so different they would be they would look so close that they couldn't tell the difference so it's always a zero and a one if you think it's an i or an o e seven seven charlie frank david one zero two eight number five is going to be echo three Charlie, Echo, Bravo, 8, David, 0, 2, 8. Number 6 is going to be Frank, David, Alpha, 2, Alpha, 5, Alpha, 0, 3, 0. Number 7 is going to be 0, Charlie, 0, 
2 alpha 59030 zero, zero. And last but not least number 8 is going to be 2553 echo alpha 9028 so now that we got all our the all these codes put in, we'll hit save data to ECU. And since all our codes were right, it didn't say any any were wrong, so we can hit OK. And that's all there is to programming IQA codes.